Today on National Book Day, I challenge you. I challenge you to pick up that book that you've been putting off. And discover some new magical powers of your own. A bump in the night. Lewis slid out of bed as slowly and carefully as he could. He tiptoed to the door. He opened it just as slowly and carefully. He looked out. The hall was dark, except for a faint, pale circle of a flashlight beam moving over the wallpaper. Now the figure with the flashlight brought his fist down on the wall. Hard. Lewis heard little clots of plaster falling down into the space between the walls. The figure pounded again and again and again. You want to see some real magic? I'll show you. Last stop. Lewis? I'm your Uncle Jonathan. Are you wearing a robe? It's a kimono. Here we are. Home sweet home. You're Lewis, I presume. How was your trip? This old hag is my neighbor. I'm relieved to see you didn't inherit your uncle's freakishly oversized head. My god, did that withered purple skeleton just speak? You'll see, it's quite different here. Have a look around. You're perfectly safe. As long as it's fed. Do you know what a warlock is, Lewis? A boy witch. I think they're a little more than boy witches. Are you saying that you're a warlock? Please teach me, please, please. Okay, have it your way. I can give you the right books, teach you the right spells, but that last 1%, that's up to you. I don't want the creepy little runt. Think I want him? Lucky shot. You've told Lewis everything? Well, not everything. Do you hear the ticking, ticking, ticking? This house used to be owned by another warlock. He's very wicked, very powerful. He left a hidden clock in the walls. We don't know what it does except something horrible. Three gongs. Last time it was four. What happens when it gets down to one? Nothing good, that's for certain. We have to destroy the clock. So creepy. You can't do this alone. I can help you. You want to see some real magic? I'll show you. Shall we? God, I hate pumpkins. Ha ha ha! Did you see that? Whoa!